How you doing? This is Pastor Miller. I want to thank everybody for all their prayers and love and support and your donations. I thank you very much. Thank you for the success of the app. The app has had some some great traffic. And uh, I just want to say thank you for keeping me in your prayers, especially during the fasting. Uh, just thank you for all of those people that have put, you know, put every put everything in line and stood in the gap for this ministry, especially this ministry for Jesus Christ, which he, he, he bestowed to me and trusted in me. And I and I, I'm humbled every day by that. So I just want to say thank you all for all the encouragement that you're seeing. And I thought it'd be fair to actually, you know, be very blunt and honest about some things that when it comes to the UNHD ministry, it is not mine. It is the ministry of Jesus Christ. And it is not a user friendly gospel. It's not a user friendly ministry. It's not a software that you can plug in. It's not a it's not a ministry of, of YouTube for dummies. It is just, you know, it's not ministry simplified. It is truly the word of God as it is spoken in our Bible. There is no if, ands, buts, maybes. Uh, I've had people say, well, you should deliver it this way. I deliver as the Holy Spirit sees fit and no other way to do it. God's word is spoken by God himself through the Holy Spirit. I don't have no right to try to edit that gospel and make it to suit myself or suit anybody out there. I am in one business and the business of saving souls. And we all can do that as ministers. It doesn't make me any more special than you. We all are out here to save souls. And if we're out there trying to sugarcoat the gospel and make it sugar free, it's not going to be of any nil effect. Why? Because you add your own two cents in. God knew when he wrote and he pressed his will in our Bible. Let's think about that. He pressed his will in the Bible. The only other time God has pressed his will on paper was when? Well, it was stone back then. It was the Ten Commandments. When God presses his will on something, that's not an option. That's not up for you to interpret the suit to fit to suit the times. It's not for you to interpret to, to make yourself feel better. It's not to interpret so you can make a feel good gospel. It's called the narrow mode. It's not called Broadway. No one ever said Christianity meant everybody goes. It has to be a choice and a decision. He can't lead you by the hand if you don't want to listen. So that's what UNHD stands for. We're going to turn the volume up on, on Jesus Christ. We're going to turn the volume up on his gospel. We're going to turn the volume up on the Bible. And we're going to do that authentically and honest as we can. And we're going to step out of the way and let the Holy Spirit guide every single thing that comes out of my mouth. If you pledge that, which you should have when you accepted Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and repented on your knees and repented of your sins and accepted him as your Lord and Savior and, been, and, and you knew he resurrected himself and now we have eternal life in him, then you have that same commission over you and you should gladly serve that gospel and not try to twist it to make it fit for every single person out there. The gospel is for us to adjust to, not for it to adjust to someone else. That is the straight truth. That is UNHD and that's what we all represent. I love you very much. Grace and peace unto God, unto you, from our Father, and, and, and all thanks to, and, and do and love from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Eric.